Now, my partner Siafa has been anchoring with CBS3 for just a week, but his roots in the area run deep. He's no stranger to the region. Growing up in Pensacola, New Jersey, we took him back to his former high school on a little trip down memory lane. Bringing back memories. For Siafa Lewis, walking back into his old high school, Camden Catholic, is like coming back home. <laughs> <laughs> He's greeted with a mini pep rally and lots of familiar faces. I want to give you a hug. I have such chills right now. The first face he sees is Monsignor Andrew Martin, who was the principal when Siafa attended. Just uh, brought back many memories of such a, a fine young man that he, he was then and still is now. I mean, I have fond memories of him. We're very proud of him and for all his accomplishments. Staff and students are beaming with pride seeing a former student return to his beloved high school. This school's, you know, very big on family and, you know, like we always accept our alumni back and it's really nice to have alumni like you loved your experience here, you want to come back and that's like the great thing about this school. The former Camden Catholic High School football player finds his way back onto the field, chatting it up with players and students. Kate Big went to high school with Siafa and tells us why he was such a memorable student. His smile. He was kind to everybody, which is something that you can't necessarily teach someone, but it's something that our Camden Catholic students are really well known for. If you pulled somebody off the street and said, what is a Camden Catholic student? They would say welcoming. We wish you luck and success success in all your endeavors and aspirations. A glance through the yearbook shows just how active of a student he was. Even his baby picture made it in. Wow. We ultimately found our way into the school's CCTV studio, something that wasn't there when he was a student. Questions abound about Siafa's journalism career from those who aspire to do the same. Being dedicated to your work, knowing what, you, what it is you're doing. In fact, I kidded him just recently that I sort of take credit for his career because even in high school, he had that beautiful voice and resonance. And I said to him probably early in his high school, I said, you ought to choose a career where you use your voice. He's been using his voice ever since, now resonating from the CBS3 studios back in his hometown. One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa. Well, it was so great getting a little glimpse of the younger Siafa. <laughs> you know, Siafa, we saw that you were a football player. We saw you out there on the football field. So do you remember how did y'all's team do, like your senior year? What was the record? I have no idea. You, you have no idea? so long ago. Uh -huh. All I know is that we, uh, and how long ago we had lots was of fighting spirit. Excuse me? <laughs> how long ago was that? I don't know. I don't remember. I, oh, I, don't, don't? I can't count back that far. Oh. All I know is that we're not, as journalists, we're not supposed to be the story, but uh, my welcome back here has been second to none. It's been unbelievable, and it reinforces the fact that I made the right decision. So thank you, everybody. From well, the bottom of my heart. I'm glad to have you back. Thank you so much. All right, switching gears.